Hello everyone, welcome to AppyChip. This time we are going to learn how to migrate a MySQL database from an EC2 instance to AWS RDS. So for this we are going to use AWS database migration service. DMS is a service in which you can migrate variety of database from a source instance to some target instance your source instance could be an EC2 and uh, the target instance could be like RDS or uh, it could be an EC2, EC2 instance as well. So uh, let's start this. So our target instance is MySQL test instance which is a t2.micro which I have already created and uh, it is running on this box and we have a target instance which I have already created on RDS so we'll be migrating uh, database books from EC2 instance to RDS instance. So there is a database books on this EC2 instance. So it has a table authors in which there are two records and uh, we are going to migrate this data uh, to our RDS instance. So this is our RDS instance in which as of now there is no database named books. So we are going to say database migration service to transfer all this uh, data from this books database to RDS and also replicate the ongoing changes in our current EC2 instance database. So let's go ahead. In database migration service, click on create migration. So this is the ideology behind DMS that there is a source database and there is a target database. And to transfer data to from source to target, you have to create a replication instance. So we are going to create a replication instance now. Give it name test replication. Uh, keep this t2 dot medium and keep the engine version to the latest one. And uh, we'll be using the default PPC. And we are saying multi AZ to no. I'm keeping this uh, storage size to 10 gigs as I don't have much data to show in the demo. Select your AZ and uh, uh, I'm going to use uh, already created security group MySQL SG which I have assigned to the EC2 instance as well as well as to the RDS instance. So my uh, both source and target as well as DMS instance will have the same security group. And I have opened the port 3306, which is MySQL port uh, in this security group among uh, within the security group. I am leaving all the settings to default one. Click on next. Now this is creating a replication instance. Meanwhile, we can fill up the details for source database and target database. So you have to get give an endpoint identifier. So we are saying source EP and source engine is MySQL. And these are the variety of database that you can uh, uh, you can migrate using DMS. Our server name is the endpoint through which we will be accessing it. So here we will use the private IP. Code is 3306. Say SSL mode to learn. Username is root. I suggest you to have some other uh, specific user for uh, for this replication other than root because that's not a good practice. I am keeping root user just for the demo purpose. And in the target database connection detail, uh, since we have RDS, so we'll check this box and it will automatically fetch all the database in RDS and uh, uh, since there is only one as of now so it has already been selected
so it has fetched the endpoint as well which you can find here this is the endpoint uh, which which is being already fetched by it and the port is the same say ssl to none and the username is test okay we have filled up the details and this run test will check the connection to these instances and it's not yet enabled because the replication instance is still getting created uh, before continuing this uh, let me show you one thing that we want all the ongoing changes on our source database to get replicated on target to do this we should have three things in our mysql config so first we need to have server id set to 1 and the binary lock path should be set and the min lock format should be row so this is the uh, three requirements that should be fulfilled so you have to set this in my.cnf for mysql and reload the mysql i have already restarted the mysql and uh, as you can see It is behaving like a master and this is our uh, bin file and the position is 306. So replication instance has been created. Now we will test the connection. Meanwhile, uh, let me walk you through one of our video tutorial in which I have explained database migration service with replication and in which I am migrating data from MySQL 5.5 to MySQL 5.7 so I have a source database which have version 5.5 and a target database which have version 5.7 so you can have these kind of uh, use cases where you want to upgrade the version and uh, there could be a case when you want to use AWS services for your database uh, as of now what we are doing is uh, we are using the RDS service so these could be the use cases so the correction has been tested successfully click on next now you have to give the uh, a task name so uh, the idea behind task is we have created an instance a replication insta uh, 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 database migration instance now we have to give some tasks to that instance that uh, copy uh, so and so database or so and so tables from our source to target so let's give this task a name replication task in migration type we are saying migrate existing data and replicate ongoing changes because because we want all the changes that will get written afterwards should also get written to our target if you just want to migrate existing data and don't bother about the uh, upcoming changes on the source then you can go ahead with the first option as of now i am selecting the second one and if you select the first one then you don't have to set uh, those three settings regarding server id and bin log path uh, in your my.cnf but for uh, replication you have to set those three settings as well I am leaving uh, all other things as it is so I am saying uh, migrate all uh, migrate a schema which is uh, the name is books and uh, table name is authors and I am adding the rule and then I am creating the task the task is getting created uh, meanwhile as you can see there is no database books here So the task is still getting created 
we have to wait for this uh, one more thing uh, uh, I should tell you that uh, when as uh, uh, your database migration service will try to connect to your source so your uh, MySQL should be binded on 0.0.0.0, .0. it should not be binded on local host otherwise uh, uh, database migration uh, uh, instance won't be able to connect to your source instance so please make sure that you have uh, you have binded it on 0.0.0.0 .0. okay so uh, the status of this task is ready now we are going to start it so the state is starting now let's see if our uh, table uh, database has been created or not hooray it is there and let's see if record is there okay so table is also there now let's see if record has come or not okay so there are two records now let's see if uh, any further changes in our source database is getting replicated or not so we will insert one more record so we are with inserting one more record let's do the id 3 ok now it has three records let's check if uh, record has come or not ok the record has also got replicated here as well so all the ongoing changes in our source will, is also getting replicated to our target instance as well so now since we have uh, the migrated, uh, migrated instance and uh, you can change the dns entry point into our source to the target one and all your application will start writing and reading from your target instance so with this you can have um, you can migrate your database with minimal or no downtime so this is really a fantastic service offered by aws i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please do like and subscribe our channel thanks for watching